Hey, this is Boomer Buzz. I uh, just got on the Papio 125. We're gonna do a little uh, oil update, oil change update, a couple little things. Got a few more miles on it. Uh, so uh, we got 301 miles. Uh, dropped the oil about 260, 270, somewhere in that range. Didn't have a filter because I forgot to pick one up uh, when I got it, which I should have. And uh, just haven't got back. They have them in stock, but I just haven't got back to get one. But I figured I'd just drop the oil at 250, 260 to see how it was. Oil looked good. Clad, I dropped it to a clean pan. There was no metal shavings or anything like that. And the uh, cool thing about the Papio is it's sort of like the Van Van 200 that I have. Um, I don't know if CF Moto helps out Suzuki with that motor, but because uh, I know they make a Van Van 125 over in Europe, so um, so I'll come to a stoplight here and I can talk. Uh, but they basically the bottom of the engine you have like a triangle looking plate which is held on by three bolts, and in the center of that has a drain bolt. So you take the drain bolt out, drain the oil, and then you take out the little triangular plate. And up in there, held on by two Phillips screws, is a little is the uh, oil sump screen pickup. Uh, oil sump pickup screen. That's better. Um, so anyway, so then you just pull that out, and uh, with the two Phillips screws, and wipe it all off, get all the crap out of it. And it was a nothing real major, just a couple uh, like uh, gasket material and some stuff like that, and caught in the screen and clean wipe that off pulled it back in with two Phillips screws and then you uh you I put the drain bowl back in the plate back on there's an o-ring on the plate the drain bowl has a crush washer and uh filled it up it says 1.27 quarts on the uh in the owner's manual so 1.27 oh I put a little, little over uh, uh a little over a quart in it and she was, uh, she's right at the window, uh, check the uh, line on the window, which is good. And uh, that was it, pretty simple. So everything went well, oil looked good. And uh, so now my next oil change will be another couple hundred miles and I'll get a filter. And that way I'll do the filter and everything. Don't think I'm going to do the screen again. And uh, onward and upward with Mr. Pappy. So, but other than that, uh, we've been riding around, done some night riding with it again. Uh, did a little stealth camping with it. That video is coming out. Uh, but we might put this one out first, just as a little update on the Papio. But um, all in all, six gear is pretty cool. It's uh, we've had some question. I had a question about maybe it's a case of overkill. I don't know. It, it's weird. The fifth gear on the Grom with my weight. Um, I'm about I'm about 220, 215, 220. Um, it, you'll get in situations where it won't pull fifth and it'll, you have to drop down to fourth and then go back into, uh, and then go back into fifth. Where this is strange, you can, you can pull fifth gear and then you go into sixth and just gives you a little break on the, uh, on the revs, but it'll still pull six gear. So, in, with, with the bearded stick on the Grom, he's lighter. So he can he's he's pulling fifth gear on the Grom, and I'm downshifting on the Grom back and forth, fourth to fifth. Where on this, I can pull six gear, and you can literally just leave it in six gear, and sort of tuck in, get a little wind tuck, and I can pull sixth. So it's it's a. Uh, it's, it's it's uh like I said it's pretty neat and I haven't even you know you could mess with the gearing it's got a 39 2 sprocket in the back so if you, so if you drop that to like a 36 35 36 you can get even a little more out of six gear top speed and then you you probably just be able to pull fifth a lot so we're gonna we're gonna play around with the gearing a little bit I think but uh other than that I mean 63 60 to 63 all day long on this thing and and that's even with the uh, I haven't GPS verified it, but that's we mentioned this before. The speedometer is a little bit off compared to the Grom, maybe by two to three miles per hour. So I can run. It's running. It's showing 66, 67 on the speedometer. So I'm thinking I'm running 60. Uh, 
you know, 63, 64, somewhere in that range. And that's sort of what, what the bearded, the bearded sticks doing on the uh, on the Grom. So, and I'll just show you on this. This is a 55 mile an hour road. There's fifth gear. There's sixth. I'm gonna tuck in. And I don't know if you can hear me wind noise wise, but that's a little bit of an uphill. Sixty-six. My camera's pointed down. I'm in a low top 67 on the speedometer. And that's on a flat road with a pretty good wind. That's what it's on. Now I'm coming up on uphill. But, it, but it's still pulling six gear pretty good. And that's a that's an uphill right there. You probably can't tell on the camera, but that's an uphill. And I'm going through this intersection. Hopefully no one's going to pull out and kill me. Thank you. Thanks for not killing me. <laughs> and you can see 55 miles an hour. There's 63. And that just flattens out right here. That was a nice flat area, 67. So you're, you're running 60, probably 64 on that, you know. And that's with a, you know, a 215, 220 pound person on it. Look at that. 68. Look at that, smoke in a car. Coming out of the truck. Well, there you go. And I'm uh, still doing 60. I'm out of full out of truck now. I got full wind on me. 60 miles an hour, still holding it. It's a pretty flat area. Maybe a little bit uphill. I'm still, and I'm not completely wide open. I got a, a little bit of a throttle left, and now I'm going to slow up before I rear end this person. <laughs> Boomer buzz. Getting crazy on the Papio. So far, uh, bike's done everything I've asked it to, and we've been we've been giving it a good uh, good test, and we will continue on. We're gonna, like I said, we've got a stealth camping video that we've already taped, which is pretty funny. So that's coming out, and then we're gonna do some long distance. We're gonna we're gonna do kind of do like a 300, maybe a 400 mile day on the Grom and Mr. Pappy. Anyway, that's it. So uh, update again. Headlight is incredible on this thing at night. I love the headlight on this. They did a superb job. The comfort, the seats comfortable, ergos are comfortable. Everything works. Uh, again, 307 miles. Not not that that's a big accomplishment but uh we're gonna we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going with it and we're gonna keep uh trying to uh, do long distance miles on it hit some different states and uh we're gonna keep coming back at you with update videos and then uh hopefully i can get some uh get my hands on a couple more cf motos and uh do a little reports on those other like the 300 maybe the 650 all right boomer buzz out <laughs>